My name is uh, Alistair Rutledge. I'm from the uh, School of Mathematics in the University of Leeds, and I work in the area of uh, nonlinear non differential equations. Today, I'm going to be talking about a technique called um, reduction of order, uh, which is a technique where you can take, a, for example, a second order uh, a differential equation and turn it into a first order equation, which then is uh, easier to solve. Um, it only works for uh, linear equations. Uh, and there's uh, one other price to pay, which you'll see as we go along. So I'll take an, as an example uh, this equation here, which I've written up and labeled equation 1. It is um, x squared times y double prime. Remember, y double prime means d squared y by dx squared. Plus x times y prime, so that's x times dy by dx, minus y, uh, equals 2x, and our task is to find y, or the solution of y as a function of x. Now, um, it's, you can see that it's a second order equation. It's got two derivatives here. You can also see it's linear because there's no products of y with y prime or uh, y double prime squared or anything like that. So uh, you might think that the technique that uh, you, you've probably met, um, uh, finding the characteristic equation, might, might work for this equation. Um, but it doesn't, and the reason it doesn't is because the coefficients of the y double prime and the y prime are not constants, they're functions of x. So we could try it just to see uh, how it works, and the way that we, that procedure works is we write down the, the homogeneous version of that equation, so that is x squared times y double prime plus x times y prime minus y equals zero, and I'm going to call that equation two. And then we'll try uh, y is e to the lambda x, where lambda is constant. And having, uh, we'll try that, and we'll see if we can find a lambda that solves that homogeneous equation. So uh, we'll, well, to do that, we need to uh, differentiate. So we get y prime is lambda e to the lambda x. And y double prime is lambda squared e to the lambda x. We put uh, these into that equation, and we get x squared times lambda squared e to the lambda x. That's our y double prime plus x times lambda e to the lambda x, and then minus e to the lambda x is 0. So that is our y prime, and that's our y. Now we've got a common factor here, which is e to the lambda x, so, and that is never zero. The exponential of something is never zero. So we can divide by e to the lambda x, and we get x squared times lambda squared plus x lambda minus 1 equals zero. And that would be the characteristic equation for this problem. 